Hi everyone, it's me, Sophia. So today we're going to be talking about how you can use the calculator in Rome and we hope you find it very useful. Before we start, I wanted to talk to you guys about getting your own Rome database. I'm now on their website and if I go on request access, you can see that I can join a wait list by answering some questions. By pressing start, of course. <laughs> If you want to get your own Rome database, which I definitely recommend, go on the wait list now because you will want this tool when school starts, if it ever does, um, or earlier, of course. Again, I definitely recommend getting Rome research because it will really help you organize your thoughts and your schoolwork, and really, it's very useful. By the way, we were thinking of doing some videos about how to organize yourself with schoolwork or homeschooling routines or any other work you have to do so that it doesn't overwhelm you and so that you get good at doing things faster. Let us know what you think in the comment sections down below. I'm now in my Rome database on this page that I have called Money. This is the page that I'm going to use as an example of how you can use a calculator. But of course, you can use it for your math homework or anything else as well. Let's say I have um, $1,000 in my bank account. I have $400 cash. They owe as in, let's say my mother. Let's say my mother owes me $40. And then I owe, say, $20. Of course, these are not the real numbers, just an example. Total. Now, for the total, I'm going to use the calculating feature in Rome by doing two curly brackets, calc, two points, and then you can write whatever operation you need to write. I'm going to use block references because if I use block references, then if I change the amount that I have, for example, in bank account, it is also going to change in my total. So 1,000, let's say, plus 400, plus the O minus, minus I O, because that would remove money from my own collection. <laughs> so I'm also going to do times 10% because my mother usually gives me 10% more of the amount that I lent to her, so 1.1. And then this is how it looks. This is the total amount um, together. So if I change, I don't know, bank account to 900, it also changed the total. If I just remove bank account completely, like that, it will be 424, but I'm going to undo that by doing command Z because I don't want to remove it. Undo another command Z. There. Now I'm just going to touch things up a little bit by selecting this and dragging it, dra dragging it under total <laughs> like this. And then I'm going to select total and do highlight it like that. And this is how it looks the final touch <laughs> so we are also going to do another video on formatting um very soon don't forget to give us a like if you like this video subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell if you want to get notifications when we post new videos